Hello guys, welcome to NetExperts. My name is Sudanshu Kapoor. Today we will discuss about how RBAC or RBAC checks if a user has access resources or not in Azure. Let's start the session guys. So let me open the paint first. So this is my paint. So in that what we need to understand is that how Azure RBAC or role based access control checks if the user has access resources or not. So we already discussed about RBAC. So with the help of RBAC, we can we can provide the access on the users uh, to the users on the resources. Okay. So now the first step we have a seven step process. So first step is a user receives a token for AZ, AZM. What is the AZM over there? AZM means Azure Resource Manager. So with the help of Azure Resource Manager, Azure Resource Manager gives a token to the user. In the token. It, uh, it includes the user membership, the user's group membership information also. With the, with the, uh, you can see that in, uh, in the token, they have two things. Number one, it has the uh, information about permissions, what permissions uh, users have on a particular resource which, is, which they're going to access. And second thing, it has the information about the user's memberships also. Like imagine if my user has the member of group one or group two or group three. So it contains all the information about the membership of users as well. Okay, now what I'm trying to discuss is in, in this in this. So uh, just I'll tell you that like imagine this is uh, like imagine this is the as your subscription we have. Okay, in that we have we have uh, uh, like imagine that we have resource group and in that we have so many resources. So this is my subscription. This is my subscription. Subscription. Okay, and in that we have resource groups. This is the resource group. Okay, and in that we have some resources. In that we have some resources. Resources like resources uh, like we have in this in the, in this. Uh, I can maintain like imagine we have a VMs. We have running a VM over there. We have VNets also in this resource group. So and uh, we have a storage storage account also in this in this group. Okay. So uh, so like this, we can say that. So like now we have a user over there. So like imagine we have a user over there. This is the user. There is a user over there. This is the user matter. It is the user, and it trying to access the resources. Okay. And it connects uh, this subscription with the with the help of internet. So over there is the internet is there in between. That is the internet connection is there, and it's connect this internet with like this. That is the internet connection is there. That is ISP or internet. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now uh, when when the user is going to access the resources, okay. So uh, it, it's up to you that on which based. You uh, uh, provide the access on the user. On the users, it's the user one. Imagine this is a user name is user one, and it's trying to access the resources. Okay, so it's it's up to you that on which basis you give you give the permission. You give permission on the on the subscription, okay, or you give permission on the on the resource group, particular resource group, or you or you can give permission on the particular resource. Okay, fine. So if you give the permission on the on the particular subscription, so it access all the resources. If you give permission on a particular resource group. So he able to access the particular resource group resources only, and if you give the particular resource permission, you can give the permission only that he he able to access only the only the VM. So he able to access only the VM. He's not able to access other resources like this. Okay, so it's up to me what type of permission I can give. Okay, so now if we, if we go this, so number one step is a user has received a token from AZM. Okay, as your resource manager, resource manager gives them a token. In token, they have two information. One is Information permission information is there in the in the token and second is as your group membership permission information is there. Now next, with the help of token, the user makes a call to ARM with token attached. Now this is the service. The service name is uh, REST API call. This is the service. Like in domain in uh, in domain we have a Cabros uh, version five protocol to uh, to access the resources in the domain or authentication. Okay, like same in, in Azure, we have we are using the services. The service name is R E R E S T A P I call. It's a service in Azure. Okay, with the help of the services, Azure try to access the Azure Resource Manager with the token attached. Okay, 
now after that once the call uh, goes to the azure uh, azure rm uh, means arm so arm retrieves all the role assignments and deny assignments that apply to the resource like now imagine now i go to the fig this fig now imagine that this user wants to access vm this vm okay i talk about only one resource so, so i i apply the uh, apply the roles on this user that he is able to access this vm so now user is going to access this vm now what happens in that case once user user is access to uh, uh, access that vm so what happens the third step is arm retrieves all the role assignments and deny assignments that apply to the resource like imagine that in this resource this resource all role assignments retrieved by is uh, is it means arm sorry arm means as, as your resource manager it retrieves all assignments that what what permissions we can define on this particular resource now after that ARM narrows the role assignment that applies to this user or their group and it also checks what role what roles the user has for this resource now after retrieving all the information about the, about this resource all the all the uh, roles about this resource now you now ARM checks okay ARM checks that what type of permission i can apply on this user okay what type of permission like i i apply role i apply honor role on this user i apply co a, co a, a contributor role on this on this user or i apply reader role on this on this on this user to access that particular vm okay so it checks what role i can assign on this user and also checks what role the user has for this resource and it checks what type of permission i can apply on this resource for, for this user okay now arm checks if the action in the api call is include in the roles the user has for this resource now it checks also that uh, it che it checks also that uh, that the api call ha also has include any role for this user for this user on this resource okay if the user doesn't have a role assigned if the user doesn't have a role access is not granted so understand this uh, this line first if the user doesn't have a role access is not granted if, like like arm uh, arm checks now now arm doesn't find any role uh, a role uh, or it doesn't find anything on uh, uh, on this user to access the resources so he, he, the access is not granted so he's not uh, not allowed to access the resource otherwise or uh, otherwise arm checks if a deny assignment applies like imagine the first case is that role is not assigned by the administrator on this user now imagine that the role is assigned but it assigned the deny assignment role deny assignment means i i allow the uh, um, allow the user to access the i apply the role but it's deny permission i deny it. i denied the user to access this uh, a resource access this vm okay if a deny assignment applies access is blocked of of, of course if if i if i if admin denies that that this user is not not allowed to access the the particular vm so he is not able to access okay it's blocked otherwise if assignment is allowed so it's automatically access is granted so we have two types of assignments one is role assignments and one is deny assignments so if if i if i need to allow someone to access the resources so we can apply role assignments if i need to deny someone to not access the resource so we can use deny assignments so this is the process you can see that how as your rbac checks if the user has access resource or not understood so so this is the process and this is the diagram how we can go for that okay so we already under we already i already told you in the last lecture that how we can apply roles on a particular user on the base of subscription on the base of resource group on the base of a particular resource okay fine so this is the way how rbac determines or how rbac checks if the user has access resource or not so i hope you able to understand this uh, session guys if you have any doubt anything please comment me on the on this uh, video on the session and uh, uh, please subscribe the channel also for uh, for more technical videos like this thank you for watching guys